the other thing is try to get yourself into position where your chair is where you're going to be laying down. So imagine yourself coming down like this. Right? So once you've set everything up, then you're set up for success. So on the count of three, we're going to go back together. Okay, ready? Yeah. So you get into position, and you say one, two, three, back. Relax. Good. And then you say eyes open, and you're supporting the bottom of their head. So right now, her neck isn't far back enough, but it's the first time she's doing it, so she's a little nervous. So <laughs> we'll try to relax your neck. I have you. Yeah. And so ideally, it would be 30 degrees in extension, so more about there. Okay. So her head is turned 45 degrees to the left, and she's in 30 degrees of, of cervical extension. Okay. I'm watching her eyes to see if there's an nystagmus. The way I'm showing you now is what I'm used to with Frenzel's lenses, so the infrared goggles, because her eyes would be projected onto a screen, and I would just be sitting back here, one-handed, can look at the, the eye on the screen in HD. I want to also show this to you how to do this without the infrared goggles so that you can see your eyes better. Even if you do it this way, you can still see your eyes, you just have to remember everything is reversed because she's upside down. Okay? You have plenty to think about already. Everything's reversed. Here. So you keep her down for one, at least one minute. And why do we keep her down for a minute? So the crystals can, can move if they're going to move. Also, we want to differentiate canal versus cupulo, right? As a general rule, if it's over 60 seconds, it's cupulo. If it's under, then it's canal. Okay, next I want you to keep your head turned to the left, and I want you to sit up. When she sits up, okay, so let's say when she was down, she had an up eating nystagmus. When she sits up, what should her nystagmus be? Well, which way are the crystals moving when she sits up? So you're going to get a reversal, a down one. And this goes back to your question initially of do people get nystagmus or vertigo when they when they go back up, and that's that's why, because the crystals are moving in the opposite direction. Right? The other thing that's important is when they sit up, you always want to guard them here, because that's the point where they're going to feel the most unstable. Many people bring the patient up and then walk away, and then they fall off the mat. So you want to bring them up, and you want to, you know, relatively firmly just hold them there so that they don't move. Okay? You want to guard them. After you've done one side, and to the other side. I recommend checking the unexpected side first, because, as you can see, she was a little nervous on that side, so that was kind of like the, the preparatory uh, the preparatory one. She knows what to expect now. She's probably going to come back a little bit faster. Probably. <laughs> um, so it's going to be the same thing. But on the count of three, you're just going to come onto your back with your head turned to the right. A little bit faster than the way you're doing it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Perfect. And see if she went right into the position. Just relax your head a little bit. Good. Do you have any neck pain or anything? No. Good. Do you feel vertigo? Do you feel dizziness? No. Good. So I'm watching her eyes for an segment. It's good to support the head under the head. Support the head underneath as well. Where should you tow it if her gaze when she comes down? When she comes down, people tend to look in the direction they're in. I like to have them keep their eyes more in the center of the eye. Um, so, in other words, have the retina in the center of the eye. That way, if she happens to have eccentric nystagmus, any end range nystagmus, I don't want that to throw off my findings, right? What are your um, cues just to look at It's It's tough. People get very disoriented, especially when they have the goggles on. So I usually just see where their eyes are. So let's say her eyes to the right. I'm going to say, if you don't mind, just move your eyes slightly to the left, and then people will be, will move it to the center, you know? It takes some practice, but try to bring their eyes to the center, OK? You wait over another minute. Do you feel any vertigo? Do you feel any sensation of movement? Do you feel any dizziness? So it's a negative test. 
Some people have a nystagmus without vertigo. That's still positive. Usually the nystagmus doesn't lie. So when in doubt, follow the nystagmus. Okay? Keep your head turned to the right and then sit up. And the guard. How do you feel? Okay, good. Thank you. That's assessment for, for posterior and anterior canal, right? What about um, for horizontal canal? How do we assess that? Roll test. Roll test. Who's next volunteer?